it's Wednesday. Wednesday's new comic book day. We have to go to the comic book store. Yes, indeed, everybody. Today is Wednesday, new comic book day. Today is uh, Wednesday the 26th, and I have some books to show you from the 19th and the 26th. Um, and first to show you just a note uh, about Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands. I picked up this game, and um, I've already beaten it. Uh, it was a good game, um, but just really, really kind of short. Got it for the PS3 here. Uh, the Wii version actually, I guess, came with a uh, download or something for the original, the classic Prince of Persia. Uh, but yeah, just a warning for you guys. It's a short game, and myself, I mean, I'm a working man and a, and a father of an eight-month-old son. I don't have that much kind of time, but I still was able to beat this in a short amount of time, actually. Um, and I got it the, the day it was released, and then that weekend... I had actually uh, was able to complete it. Um, so also a fella here that I watch uh, a fair amount of is Ray Carcillo. Um, he does comic books and video game reviews, and he has a um, I don't know like a journalism degree or something like that, uh, whatnot. So he's he does it from a very um, news-like perspective. Uh, so go to his channel, check out the review um, of the game, and um, yeah, see what you think of it. And on to the comic books for um, last week and this week, and just a, a note before I show you guys these, some that I wasn't able to pick up but I will have on order is um, Heroic Age, Age of Heroes, and uh, Enter the Heroic Age, and Rescue, Pepper Potts, um, in her Iron Man armor. So those ones will be coming, I did get my fella Roy to um, put those on order. So, here's the stack of books that I got for you today um, to show you. is Savage She-Hulks, uh, Follow the Hulks, number three. That's a good one. We have uh, Amazing Spider-Man. This was annual, number 37. We have uh, American Sun, one of four. This should be a really good series. That whole uh, American Sun thing was actually... Uh, really good. I, I, I kind of like that storyline. Here's a nice cover with uh, Wolverine over Romulus. We have Wolverine Origins number 48. Continuing to be a really good, really good story with the Romulus character, I think. Uh, we have Wolverine Weapon X number 13. And I believe he's holding there Wolverine's hand. <laughs> so it's an interesting cover. See one of the death walks. Looks like he's taking out some heroes, so... I see, that was kind of like a... The Death Walks are kind of like these future Terminator-esque kind of things, and, and they're going back in time, so... I think it's very reminiscent of that. We have uh, X-Men Legacy 236, Chapter 8 of the X uh, the uh, Second Coming. Uh, I have not read Chapter 7, which was New Mutants 13, and I have that one actually on order. From eBay... Uh, we have Chapter 9 uh, in Second Coming, X-Force number 27. I love X-Force. Great, great, great series. And uh, who's the pencil here? Yeah, Choi and Obak. So the only people who've worked on this series um, for artists, Choi and Obak and uh, oh, Clayton and Crane. Very, very good artists to be working on the title and the story. has been just amazing. All the cable stuff, too. Deadpool, Merc with a Mouth, number 11, and I believe this this series is coming to an end soon, but it's been fairly good, but yeah, I, I've been kind of overwhelmed by Deadpool stuff, so it's good that it's probably going to be ending. We have uh, God of War, number 2. God of War story is just unbelievable. Love the, the story and the mythology of God of War, and um, this has been a really terrific, terrific comic book. And it's, uh, it's definitely new stuff, not stuff you've really seen um, within the story of, of the video game. So very, very good. Um, just really expanding the mythology. The Invincible Iron Man, number 26. Uh, hopefully this one is better than actually the last one where they debuted the uh, new armor. There wasn't a whole lot going on there. It wasn't exactly all exciting. Um, so hopefully this one is, is a little bit more exciting. And the next bunch here is I have a whole bunch of Heroic Age branded books. And we have uh, The Avengers, number one, the um, John Romita Jr. variant. Uh, I have another variant coming on uh, eBay. So hopefully I'll get that one soon. We have Heroic Age branded Secret Avengers, number one. 
I thought this one was uh, a good cover, so I wanted to get that one. But that should be a really good story, too. I mean, uh, Steve Rogers and the Secret Avengers, I think that should be really, really good. Looking forward to reading the Steve Rogers stuff. Uh, Deadpool number 23. Heroic Age branded. And the last three Hero Games branded ones were, were uh, considered variants, and I had to pay $6 for, for each of these ones. So this was uh, The Amazing Spider-Man 632 with a nice uh, black cat cover there. Yeah, I'm really liking some of these, these Hero Games branded books. And then we have uh, Hero Games Thor number 610. And I've now added this title into my, um, you know, inbox, my ongoing series that I'll be collecting. Um, I thought it'd be a good, good point to pick up. I mean, I've been getting it through the, the, um, the siege stuff, so I figured I might as well just kind of keep it going right now. It's a, it's a good pickup, I think. And last year we have Heroic Age branded Dark Wolverine number 86. Beautiful picture there. Not sure who the artist is. Um, but really good picture, and this one series I think is ending with uh, issue number 90, I think it is, and then um, after that, sometime in the summer here, there, there will be a relaunch of the Wolverine title, Wolverine number one. Uh, so looking forward to that too. So there's my books for the 19th and the 26th. Um, yeah, that's about all I got for you guys, and hopefully as soon as I read some of them, uh, especially those Avengers, Avengers titles. Uh, I'll give you guys my input and yeah, tell you guys what I think. <laughs> All right, see you guys later. Bye.